It's Madden NFL 23, and today's clash of conferences is just moments away. It's the Finns and the 49ers, and it's all up next on EA Sports. Wet weather squarely in the forecast this afternoon in Santa Clara, California at Levi's Stadium. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Miami Dolphins and the San Francisco 49ers. Welcome again, everybody, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and yes, the rain is falling now, and it is supposed to continue to fall throughout this game. So how do you think that will impact this contest? Well, first and foremost, both quarterbacks are going to make sure the officials have those dry footballs coming in each and every play and standing over them sometimes with a towel before the center gets up there to snap it. Second thing is the focus of all the guys who handle the football. Do they wear gloves? Do they take them off? Will they carry the ball high and tight to make sure they have good ball security? That's paramount in a game like this. can do as they'll get their first shot here with less than a minute gone by in the first quarter. After the turnover, it's Tua. And his throw's going to be incomplete. He was looking for Tyreek Hill that time, and that'll bring up second down. That was a nice job defensively of disguising their coverage and making it difficult for the quarterback to lock in on a receiver, and it results in an incomplete pass. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A game there of 30 big ones. Well, Bert, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So the big play gets them across midfield now for first and 10. Now Tua just going to bat this forward on the end around. He'll get this up to the 34 and a good lane opening up right away for him. In need of only about the length of the football here on second down. They'll run for the first time with Raheem Moster. And some space here. And just good downhill running there as he'll take this to the 15-yard line. That good for 19 and a first down. Isn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. Line of scrimmage, the 15, it's first and 10. Running the counter with Mostert, and this time the yards won't come so easy as they'll in fact tackle him behind the line. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. That loss of three, a rare stumble on a promising drive. Here's second and 13. Tua sets up to pass it. Touchdown, Dolphins! Tua fighting his own with Alabama teammate Jalen Waddle. And the Dolphins take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. And that drive we just saw that culminated in a touchdown, exactly what many offenses are looking for. Sustained ones that can impose their will on the other team. Second quarter, this defense looking for a big third down stop here. They're already down on the scoreboard, just trying to get the ball back to their offense. And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag coming in. This could be a That's first down. Defense. Defense. Ball in the red zone here. Defense in a pretty tough situation. Second and two. From the 16, Tua. 
just chopped that one out of bounds, out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. They'll try and run here with Moster. And all the way down inside the five to the four. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up the first and goal. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Throwing now is Tunga by Lowell. And he's got his tight end, Gesicki, in the end zone. Touchdown, Dolphins. Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the Dolphins have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Well, that's just how they drew it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent. Ex the Dolphins at the line, ready for their next drive. And thus far, the weather has not slowed this offense down one bit. They've looked good so far in the first half. They certainly have, and think back to our meeting with the head coach, and we asked him because we saw the forecast for this game, didn't we? We said, hey, have you prepared for this? And he talked about the different drills that they've done in adverse conditions, the wet ball drills, things of that nature. He said, I don't think it's gonna slow us down much. We tend to handle it pretty well, and he's been right. Steps away. Now he'll throw deep left side. That is knocked away and incomplete, but a penalty flag. In the backfield, this might be a roughing call. Well, Charles, sometimes we talk about the lengths officials sometimes go to to protect star quarterbacks, but that one, that was tough to argue against. Yeah, and I'm sure that everyone's going to say, hey, we're going to administer the penalty the same way for all quarterbacks. But when it's a star back there, even more so are they going to be diligent about throwing the flag. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Here we go. Now Tua. And incomplete on the deep ball. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect. Oh, looking for Ronald, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Fred Warner. And the Niners are going to have it here as they'll start at their own 24-yard line. Well, this was a 14-0 game not too long ago. Things were looking pretty good. And then you give up the touchdown on the last drive. Now the interception. So that's a let. We're ticking down towards halftime here at the end of the second quarter. This offense looking to put three on the board. Sanders' kick is good, and the Dolphins will add on to their lead. So they get the turnover in plus territory. The drive stalls out, but still able to get three out of that. A solid drive here has this offense in really good position. Can they finish the drive off? Let's find out. It's first and 10 inside the red zone. And they won't be able to run another play. Time has expired on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. On the set. This offense has marched the ball down the field nicely. In good position, can they finish the drive off? First and 10 in the red zone. Now, first down run there by Moster, but it won't accomplish much. In fact, officially, he'll only get back to the line of scrimmage, second and 10. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. For the end zone, but that's gonna wind up incomplete. Let's give this defense some credit now. They let the guys get downfield. But when push came to shove, they stood their ground. And now they'll likely force a field goal attempt. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. He is going to find Hill here. And the Dolphins are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. The passing game continues to be their friend. And even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles, they're going back to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, you know that they trust their quarterback. He's been able to throw it well. They continue to throw these safe passes. Who can blame them? 
And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Second and goal from inside the five. Again, it's Mostert. And this time he'll run into a wall right at the four-yard line. It'll go as no gain on the play. And now they're looking at a third and goal. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. He's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. Cedric Wilson from four yards out. And the Dolphins have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. Well, partner, he has carried them in this ball game, throwing the football. All four touchdowns through the air. And that's really helped them. Nothing go, to lose now. This offense forced to go for it. Down a bunch here in the fourth quarter. Now Garoppolo. Got to have this one. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. The Niners go for it, but it doesn't work out. And the Dolphins' defense is able to hold. Well, that's another mistake there on the drop pass on fourth. And we've seen him do things like this all game. It's not hard to figure out why they're down by that depth. Fourth quarter, and it's... For this defense. Fourth quarter, and it's kind of getting to be desperation time here for this defensive side. They need to get the ball back to their offense. They have a chance to do that on third down. On target over the middle to Hill. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open. And complete. Fourth quarter, and it's kind of getting to be desperation time here for this defensive side. They need to get the ball back to their offense. They have a chance to do that on third down. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Raheem Mostert, 22 yards. And the Dolphins have opened up a four-touchdown lead here in the fourth. Well, there's just about a minute left in this game, and they're still taking it into the end zone. And you know they could have taken a knee there, but they decided to play this one all the way out. And I think their philosophy is, we're going to give you everything we've got. Me now. Well, this was a really nice display, Charles, of complimentary football, especially how much they were humming in the second half to pull away and get the victory. Really a complete performance. And so much fun when you're able to have everyone contribute, both sides of the ball. You go back in the locker room and you just savor it, right? Because that's what football's all about. A true team game, and they got it done in this one.